Only walked 19 coming into the game. A swing and a fly ball to left field. Back on it goes Call over his left shoulder. He is reaching for it. He can't get it. It's off the wall, and it's in play. No, it's gone. It's gone. It gets into the bullpen and back, and that's a blast for Langoliers. And the A's tie the game at one. Third home run for Langoliers this year as he sends it just over the wall by enough and the A's have tied the game, and that's a great way to end it over for Shea Langoliers. I'll say it looked like it hit the bench, the A's uh, bullpen bench, just beyond the wall out there. And it was the curveball, and Langoliers waited on it, went down and got it around the knees. As you said, a great way to end an over. Yeah, you're right. Hit the, the B. He's ready. Here's the pitch. Langoliers swings and drives one to right center field. That's hit pretty well. Manessis is going back to the track, looking up, and it is off the wall. One run scores. Here comes Machine. He is going to score. Langoliers into second base with a two-run double to give the A's a 5-3 lead here in the 10th. And he missed a home run by inches. 5-3 athletics. In the 10th inning. And Langoliers has driven in three. Just a fastball out over the plate. And interesting talking with Tommy Everett before the game. And just when mentioning Langoliers, the one thing he says, we see it. He goes, the ball really jumps off his bat when he connects. And we've seen it twice today and coming in two clutch, clutch situations.